Okay, today I'm going to show you guys how to teach sit down and stay with a puppy. Um, I've got Winston here today, who's a three-month-old Pomsky, Pomeranian Husky. Um, really cute little kid, but very hyper, and uh, he doesn't have any foundation whatsoever with sit down or stay. So um, this will be a really good uh, exercise for him, and really good for you guys to see how I'm going to introduce a you know blank slate puppy um, to sit down and stay. So. I typically with puppies will use treats in the beginning, but I'm going to phase these out as quickly as possible. I don't want to um, have him turn into a dog that doesn't sit unless, he, unless I have a treat in my hand. So uh, we're just using the treats to help get the ideas down, and then typically within a week or two I want them totally out. So as they get better you're going to start giving a treat every other time, and then every three times, and, and so on, until you've totally weaned them out. Um, what I'm going to use, along with the sit down stay commands, I'm also going to use hand signals. Um, puppies are very sight and sound oriented, and so um, they, they respond really well to hand signals as well as vocal, uh, verbal commands. Um, so typically for sit, I use a fist. For down, I use flat palm down like this, and for stay is flat palm out. Um, it really doesn't matter what hand signal you decide to use. You can use the ones that I use, or you can use ones that, that you're more comfortable with. It really doesn't matter as long as you're comfortable and, and consistent with them. So um, when I'm using treats with my hand signals, I want to kind of uh, basically merge the treat with the hand signal the best I can. So when I'm, when I'm doing the sit command um, and I'm using the fist, I've got the treat right here just in my finger so that the puppy can smell it and kind of be interested in it, but he can't get to it and I'm gonna basically use my hand signal to kind of get him into the sit position. Same thing with the down position. I'm gonna have the treat just right here between my, my thumb and my finger, and then I'm gonna take him into the down position, and then same thing with stay. So I, I will always have the treat in my hand to kind of help encourage them um, to know what, what they're supposed to do. Now puppies, um, they pick things up a little bit quicker if you help them to do it rather than making them do it. So you don't wanna push his butt down, because um, he'll actually pick it, pick it up faster if he goes into the sit position himself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the treat right next to his nose, and you can tell that he's very interested in it, and I'm going to slowly arch it back towards his butt. Sit. Good boy. Good sit. The second his butt hits the ground, then I'm going to give him the sit, the sit command um, because you want to associate the command with the action. So I didn't say the command before he sat. I said it while he was going into the position so that I can have that association. Once he knows the command, you can say it whenever you want, um, but he's gotta associate the command properly first. Come here, Winston. So same thing, I'm gonna keep it right next to his nose. Sit, good boy, good sit. Arch it back slowly towards his butt until he goes into that sit position. If you bring it up too high from his nose, oftentimes puppies will jump up. He's, he's not going to, oh, there he goes. So. Oftentimes puppies will jump up instead of going into the sit position, so that's why you don't want to bring it up uh, high above his nose. You want to keep it touching his nose so that he's not wanting to jump up. Winston, come here. Sit. Good boy. Good sit. Very good. Once they go into the sit position, they get the treat, and I also praise them with good sit, you know, good, good down, good stay. Whatever it is that they did good, I let them know which one it was. Uh-uh-uh, uh-uh-uh, sit, good, good sit, come here, sit, good boy, good sit, very good, good boy. So the sit position is pretty easy for most puppies. Um, the down position is much harder. So before I start him into the down, I'm actually going to start him off in the sit position. Once he's in the sit position, I'm going to take the treat from his nose straight to his toes. Down, good boy, good down. If you bring it too far away from his toes, then he's going to stand up and move towards it. So that's why you want to take the treat from his nose straight to his toes. Down. Good boy. Good down. Winston, I would say, is doing better than most puppies. Most puppies kind of struggle with the down position and um, have a hard time. So um, don't expect your puppy to do this very, as quickly. Down. Good boy. Good down. Because he's being like model student of what, what I want him to do. Um, if your dog is struggling with the down position, well, first off, when I'm taking the treat from their nose to the toes, 
I'm going to sit there and I'm going to hold it for a while. Some puppies will stay in the sit position and just stare at your hand like basically what am I supposed to do. Keep that treat down there on the ground. Um, and if they get distracted or anything, bring it back to their nose and take it back to the ground. Um, so that you, you can basically encourage them to go into the down position. Um, sometimes it takes them a couple times. Uh, 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 sit. If they stand up, put them back into the sit position. Uh, 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 sit. Uh -huh. Winston, sit. Down, very good, good down, good boy. Um, so make sure, like I said, if they stand up, put them back in the sit position, start all over again. If I have a puppy that's really struggling, then I will help um, by applying pressure. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start them off in the sit position and then take the treat from their nose to their toes and then I'm gonna apply a little bit of pressure downward on their shoulders to help get them into that sit position. And that's okay if you need to do that with your dog. Down, uh -uh -uh. sit, down, good, good boy, good down. Um, more than anything, it just takes patience and consistency to get them to the point where they'll, they'll start doing it on their own. Down, very good, good down. Winston is a smarty pants though, so he's picking it up very quickly. Come here, sit. Down, very good. Good down, good boy. Now with the stay command, the stay command is very challenging for a lot of puppies um, because a minute of staying is like mentally running a mile to a dog. So at this age, we can't expect them to stay longer than 10 or 15 seconds. That's very difficult for a young puppy. Um, but as he gets better, you're gonna gradually make it more challenging for him. There's three things he needs to master before he's mastered the stay. That's duration, distance, and distraction. So how long he's in the stay for, how far away you are from him, and what's going on around him. Um, like I said, we're gonna start off nice and easy, 10 seconds or so, and uh, then and maybe a, a step or two away from them, and little to no distractions. And basically each day, I'm gonna gradually add on five or 10 seconds and another step backward. I'm just gonna gradually make it more challenging. When you get to the point where he can stay there for 45 seconds to a minute, then you want to start with light distractions. Um, a light distraction might simply just be me walking in a circle around the dog. Um, just the fact that you're moving is going to be challenging for a lot of dogs and they're going to want to stand up and follow you. So that's a light distraction that I will start with a lot of dogs. You can slowly roll toys past them, you can go outside, um, you can have other dogs around. But whatever the distraction is that you decide to do, start off easier and then work up to more challenging. Obviously, I'm not going to jump into taking him to soccer games and expecting him to do, you know, 20 minute stays right off the bat. It's something you're going to have to build up to. You just have to be patient with it and he'll get there eventually. Um, with stay, <clears throat> um, like I said, my hand signal is flat palm out. I'm only going to say the command once. I'm not going to repeat myself. Um, he needs to learn to remember and not always need to be reminded. So I'm not going to sit here and go stay, stay, stay. I see a lot of people do that and um, it's just frustrating for the dog and for you and it's, it's, it's more annoying and for the dog even. And so um, I like to just teach them, say it once, let them know, hey, you need to remember and just stay put. Um, I'm never, right now while they're learning stay, I'm never going to call them to me. Um, because then I'm praising the come and not the stay. While they're learning stay, I want to praise the stay to help encourage them to, to stay for longer periods. So if I immediately start by calling them out of the stay, then like I said, I'm gonna be praising the come. So um, I wanna to continue to praise the stay. So how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna return back to the dog, give them some love, and then have them follow me so that they know that you know staying put is what they did was that was good. Um, if they get up before you release them, you're going to give them a little quick pop on the leash, take them right back where you had them, and start all over again. That's really important. Um, it's very important to take them back to where you had them. Um, a lot of dogs will try to inch and try to push the stay and, and try moving around. Um, if you just correct them and then put them and then re reinitiate the stay wherever they walk to, then they're always going to think that they can that they can inch and they can move. So you always want to take them right back where you had them and start all over again. Because eventually they'll get to the point where they basically like, okay, it's useless to keep testing and getting up because you're going to make me go back and start over again. So then they'll start doing it more consistently again. 
Um, so let me show you a couple times with Winston how to do the stay command. Now, I may have to correct him quite a bit in the beginning. Most puppies get up a lot their first couple times doing the stay. So um, if I have to correct him, I'm just gonna give him that pop, take him right back, start all over again. So, Winston, come here. Sit. Uh -uh -uh. Stay. Good boy, good stay. Good boy. All right. Good, good boy. It's important to have a specific release word from the stay command um, so that they know that they can get up. And I like to use something that's a little less common, so I'm not gonna use okay or good boy just because we use that a lot in everyday life. I like to use all right. Um, and then I always like to have them follow me. So I'll show you guys again. Sit, stay. Stay. Very good. Good boy. All right. Good boy. Sit. Uh -uh. Come here. Sit. Stay. Now that time when he stayed, he went into a down position after I told him to sit. I'm totally okay with them eventually laying down um, because that's basically themselves making themselves comfortable to stay there for a longer period. Um, the only time I'm going to correct him for going into a down is if I tell him to sit and he immediately lays down. That's not okay because then he's confusing the two commands. But if I tell him to sit and then he eventually lays down, that's okay. Because like I said, then he's making himself comfortable. So sit down, stay. Pretty easy, um, just takes time and patience and, and consistency. Uh, puppies do, do better with short and sweet exercises. So ideally you wanna do this five, 10 minutes, several times a day, you know, three or four times a day um, because they'll pick it up quite a, a lot quicker that way rather than doing one big training session. So keep that in mind and then each day just push them a little bit harder and they'll pick it up. Um, so if you have any questions or, or comments or anything, feel free to call or text or email us anytime. We're always happy to help. Um, we also, you can also visit our website for more information. We'll post our contact information at the end of this video. So thanks.